What's up, singers? It is day five of the 14 singing skills to sweeten your serenade this Valentine's Day, where every day from February 1st through February 14th, I'm putting out a video with a free singing exercise, a warm up, or a tip, or some sk singing skill that you can use to give a heartfelt serenade to somebody you love this Valentine's Day. Because boy, we need some love in this world. It's been so negative lately. All right, so. If you wanna get these free videos sent directly to your inbox, you can subscribe at rcvoicestudio.com or you can subscribe to me, I couldn't say subscribe, <laughs> you can subscribe to me on YouTube here or you can also watch these free videos on Instagram at rcvoicestudio. Hi everyone, I'm Robert Carrasco with the RC Voice Studio and I transform singers into vocal artists. And now let's do video number five. This one is called the Darth Vader Inhale. Now, if you don't know who Darth Vader is, go see some Star Wars, okay? All right, because the force is not with you if you don't know who Darth Vader is. Okay, so Darth Vader, this guy, <laughs> all right? When he breathes, he's mostly mechanical. He's part human, but he's, a lot of, he's lost a lot of limbs, he's lost a lot of lung function, and so he has to breathe using machinery, okay? So when Darth Vader breathes, he breathes something like this. All right, so what we're focusing on today is the Darth Vader inhale part of it, okay? So the way to get the Darth Vader inhale sound is what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your tongue sitting in your mouth kind of like this. Right? Now your tongue is gonna be kind of forward in your mouth and it's gonna feel like it takes up a lot of room inside your mouth when you do that. Huh? And then what you're gonna do is with your mouth slightly open and your tongue in that position, I just want you for a second just to breathe in and out of your nose only. Now, just breathing in and out of your nose by saying, telling yourself, I'm going to breathe in and out of my nose, what happens is the back of the tongue, kind of where you can't really see, but the back of the tongue goes really up and connects itself to what's called the soft palate, which is you have the roof of your mouth here, then you have this little dangly, fleshy thing that hangs in the back there. Okay? Now, soft palate can go down. And when it does, you tend to be kind of nasally like this, like, oh my gosh. Okay? Or if the soft palate goes really far up, like when you yawn, you'll sound kind of like this. Okay? So the soft palate can go up really high and it can go down and sound really nasal. Okay, so what we're doing here with the Darth Vader inhale with our mouth, when our, we're breathing through our nose, our body instantly goes, makes our tongue go up and our soft palate go down so that air can't come out of the mouth. All right, so if, you breathe, if your mouth is open, your tongue here, and you breathe in and out of your nose, you won't feel any air coming out of your mouth. Okay, so now what we're gonna do for the Darth Vader inhale is to make that little sound, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start breathing in your nose, and then halfway through your inhale, you're going to switch it so that air goes in your mouth. And you want, and it's gonna create a little clicking sound, which is the separation of the tongue dropping a little bit and the soft palate lifting up a little bit into more of a middle position, not down, not all the way up, but somewhere in the middle, okay? So let's try that. So do a slow, silent inhale, because you know, already know how to do that. If not, watch video number two of these singing skills. All right, so tongue open, mouth open, tongue here. Start breathing in your nose and then switch to your tongue. I'm gonna switch to your mouth. You hear that little clicking sound. What is the lightest clicking sound that you can make? All right? When you feel that little separation, that little light clicking sound that you can make, I want you to like hold that and just keep it there for a second and see if you can keep it there while also exhaling. All right? So see if you can Darth Vader inhale and then keep that same feeling alive while you exhale slowly and silently. Right? That is the Darth Vader inhale. So now, let's now do a, let's sing part of our song selection or some or your serenade without using the Darth Vader inhale. Okay, so I'm not going to use it, and I'm going to use my Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a beautiful day! I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. 
Right now, I didn't sound terrible, but it wasn't as beautiful as I would like my serenade to be. All right, so now I'm gonna take the Darth Vader inhale and I'm gonna kind of get the Darth Vader inhale going and I'm gonna keep it there throughout my singing. And notice the difference in the sound quality as I do this, right? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. All right, so by having my Darth Vader inhale kind of be like the starting point of how I sing each time I take a breath, okay? That sets up my instrument to be more resonant, to have more tone quality to it, to make it easier to go from high notes to low notes. And what it really does too, that's really kind of like not so obvious, is that by having your tongue kind of in a higher position, Okay, not like having it drop all the way down, but kind of just drop a little bit and separate lightly from that soft palate, which also goes to the middle. That positioning of your tongue there and the positioning of the soft palate in that kind of like high position for the tongue and middle position for that is a way that allows your voice to be very versatile, but also gives stability to your instrument. Because our instrument can move all over the place. Our tongue can move all, it can go back, it can go forward, it can go all like that. Having the tongue in a kind of higher position with a light separation between there is actually a more relaxed state for the tongue, which also frees up the other parts of your instrument to work even easier, okay? And having that soft palate in the middle there creates like a nice balance of, it has a little bit of buzziness in your voice, or twang, and we'll get to that later, and also creates a little bit of darkness, and allows for a little bit of darkness in the sound too, so you don't sound all nasal, and you don't sound all dark like this. Okay, it kind of has like a mix of all that, all right? And it provides stability to the sound so that when you move your mouth to say different words, that inner stability there keeps everything kind of just like consistent. It keeps your voice sounding consistent from top to bottom. And it's a great jumping off point for any beautiful singing that you're ever gonna do, all right? So I want you to practice your Darth Vader inhale. It takes practice to kind of get a light separation between those two, the tongue and the soft palate, and to kind of keep it hanging out more or less there. All right, and by con just by thinking about trying to do that, it's going to add more stability to your singing and make it more definitely more beautiful and more easier as well as super efficient. All right, enjoy your Darth Vader inhale. Go see some Star Wars. Um, Darth Vader loves you for copying his breathing style for his singing, and I will see you for our next video. All right, take care.